fields. We've done another video on custom uh, fields for names. This one we want to look at custom fields for items. Okay, what what can that do for us, and and how might that be helpful for you? So for an example, I'm going to use like a small freight company that has a few trucks. We have a lot of companies like that in the area where I live, kind of an agricultural area, and uh, they truck, you know, those ag products from from farm to uh, processor, and uh, they're always looking for ways to, to keep up with their customers and invoicing and, and accounting. So let's let's look at some things that I've kind of worked with uh, in the past here. So if I go to lists and then I go to item list, I've created an item here called freight service in the uh, QuickBooks sample file. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit that item. And when you have this edit item window open, if you look over here at these buttons, you'll see there's one here that says custom field. So that's what we're looking for. So I'll click on that. And then this window opens. So in the sample file that QuickBooks provides, uh, you they already have two um, custom fields for items, color and material. Well, we want to set up a couple of our own. So I'm going to click on Define Fields. I'm going to pick a blank blank line here, and let's call one. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Bill of lading number, and you just need to put a little check mark there to use that. Let's make driver one of them and that we could use a couple more um, truck number uh, tr uh, you know I've, I've done a number of that I've used up all the possible fields before in uh, trying to get a lot of information on on invoices it just depends on what information that you want on there okay so there we go we've got uh, We've got our new customer. Did I not get my truck number on there? Yeah, I did. Oh, I didn't put a check mark. That's the problem. Okay, so there's there are my check marks. Okay, we're good to go now. Okay, so I'm not going to put any information here. I'm just going to save that. That actually becomes available on all of those custom fields are now available on all items. But we're really only going to use it on this freight service because we're going to use it for invoicing for loads of freight taken up for our customers. Now, where custom fields for items show up is they show up as columns in the, uh, in the invoice form. So I have to customize in an invoice template in order to, to make them show. But if you watch the video on uh, custom fields with names, those show up here in the header part of the invoice, but the item custom fields show as columns. So let's take a look at how we can, what, what those are going to do for us. So I'm going to come over here, uh, additional customization for this invoice template. I'm going to go to columns, and down here at the bottom are the custom fields. So let's add bill of lading number. Okay, that's just telling me that uh, things are getting scrunched together on the template here. That's okay. I'm just going to click through that each time QuickBooks tells me that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when customizing columns, there's this order number here. So I could work with this and decide exactly which number from left to right I want that particular column to be. So I can adjust all of that. I can go to Layout Designer. I can adjust uh, a lot of the look of this uh, invoice form. So there's a lot of customizing that could be done. It really doesn't have as much to do with custom fields. That's more about customizing templates. We're going to do another video on that later. Let's just stick to custom fields for now. And uh, there we go. So we, we told QuickBooks to add the, those three custom fields as columns on our invoice form. 
both on the screen and on the, the form that we'll print out for the customer. So there you can see it. We customized the rock castle invoice. If I used a different template, uh, let's see, a product invoice, there we go. You, you don't see those uh, custom fields because that customization is specific to the invoice template that we use. So if I were to create an invoice now for a customer, let's say uh, Robert Allard here, and uh, we want freight, and we might put a description in there. We're just going to do one at a time. So the rate, uh, let's say, was seventy-five dollars. Uh, so the bill of lading number and uh, the dress. So you can see what QuickBooks was telling me. Those columns may get a little scrunched up. Yeah, they might. But again, we could have. Uh, we could have worked on our invoice template, but that's a different topic. I just want to stick with custom fields today. Uh, driver, put the initials in there. Truck number was 23. There we go. And so the reason that we have all those custom fields is because there were several loads taken that day. And they may have gone by different drivers in different trucks. They certainly all had different bill of lading numbers. Uh, if there were multiple drivers working for multiple, let's let's yeah, let's move that number up a little bit. And we'll go back to DT here. And he's in truck 23. Okay, there's, uh, there's our invoice. Let's save and close that. Now, that's, that information is specific to that invoice. I can recall that invoice anytime, and I, I will have that specific information for each line on the invoice. Who was the driver? What truck was used? What was the bill of lading number? And so forth. The other thing, uh, the other place I can use that is I can create custom reports that will tell me about um, uh, how many loads a driver took, or how many loads was this truck used for, uh, and so forth. So let's uh, let's keep it simple as far as customizing reports, and let's just go to a sales by customer detail. And then let's add the columns. I think they'll be closer to the bottom. There we go. So bill of lading number, driver, and truck. We will add those three columns. And oh, I see there out here to the right, which we can customize that as well. So we kind of a big report here. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that. Don't need really the items. Get rid of that. In any event, there are a column. We could move those, right? There's a lot we could do to make a much more usable report. But here is all that information for those custom fields. So. We can even filter. Just show me the loads taken by such and such a driver or on such and such a truck. There's so a lot we could do with reports then that will give us the information that, and that becomes possible because of the custom fields that we have set up for items. And it's, on this detail report, we, it's going to show each line and I'm going to have that information for each line on that invoice. So a number of different things you can use that for. You can see in the sample file they were using items um, and, and they were adding custom fields for having different colors of particular items. You know, myself, I, I prefer using different items for the different colors because then my inventory will show uh, how many of each color I have in stock. And the custom field is not going to do that for you, unfortunately. So it's not going to keep track of inventory or anything like that, but it's going to track 
that information in by each line on the invoice in those columns and then it becomes available to you on reports both to display on the report like this and on many reports you can also filter so that you can just see what what was the work accomplished by this driver what was the work accomplished by uh, this particular truck and so forth so use your imagination a little bit and I think you can come up with some ways that that will be useful to you in your business if you have questions leave those in the comments down below I try to get to those as much as I can and I'll try to answer those for you so thanks for watching